welcome to Grace Today, a daily vlog designed to encourage you and equip you with the Word of God. Let's begin. All right, beloved, as we wrap up our look for this week at Colossians 3.11, Lord willing, tomorrow we'll be back into you thinking about and applying the evening sermon from Song of Solomon chapter 3. But today we're going to finish up thinking about and reflecting on the truth that we learned from Colossians 3.11, where he's describing this renewal, this new man that we are in Christ that he mentions in verse 10. He says, it's a renewal in which there is no distinction between Greek and Jew, circumcised and uncircumcised, barbarian, Scythian, slave and free man, but Christ is all and in all. What glorious truth this verse ends in. Christ is all, meaning he's supreme. He's far above all those things that are mentioned or thought about in those earthly distinctions, and he is in all. He is indwelling his people. Earlier in the verses, we talked earlier in the uh, the letter, earlier in the epistle, as we talked about on Sunday, uh, Paul mentions this indwelling, that Christ in you is the hope of glory. And so that's why it's so supreme, and it's so much bigger than any earthly distinctions we could pay attention to or draw because Christ is indwelling his people. We are a people, a holy people, a royal priesthood, a royal nation set apart for Christ. And so all these other earthly distinctions should pale in comparison because Christ is in us. Christ is the hope of glory. So let me encourage you, spend some time today as this is yet another example of or another uh passage we have in the book of Colossians to dwell on, to meditate on the supremacy of Christ. Spend some time doing just that today. Praise the Lord that he is supreme. Praise the Lord that he is all. Praise the Lord that he indwells all his people, people of every tribe and tongue and nation, every socioeconomic background, every cultural background, every religious background, all those who are now in Christ, he indwells them. This is glorious truth the hope of glory. So we should spend some time praising the Lord for this truth and for the hope that it brings to us individually, to us as a church, our local congregation here, and ultimately to the church global. Christ is in us, the hope of glory. I pray this truth encourages you today, friend. I love you and I'm praying for you. Have a great day. Thanks for tuning in to Grace Today. For more information on Grace Community Baptist Church of Elgin, Texas, and how you can support this ministry, check out the links in the description below. See you tomorrow.